So when I lived in Paris in my 20s, I was trying to get some pot. And someone told me they knew a guy who has some pot that he would sell me. And it was this guy named Thad. And he was a great guy. I really liked him. He was like a kind of a brilliant guy. And we used to hang out together and go see movies and talk about literature. And he was really into John Ashbery. He kind of like got me into John Ashbery. And we were just friends for years. And whenever we were in the same town, we would see each other. And I just really liked him. And then he wrote a book. And he asked me if I would read it and give him notes. And I was like, sure. So I read this book and, and it was really good. And it was like, you know, 300 pages. And it took me like a month to read it. And I read it really carefully and I, you know, gave him really, really extensive notes. And, you know, I felt good to do it. Like, I, I you know, I loved the book and I, you know, I loved him. And then he asked Mandy, my wife, to read it. And she read it too. And she also gave him extensive notes. And then it got published and he was doing a reading in Brooklyn. And he sent me like a, an email and said, I'm going to be reading at these three different bookstores in the next few weeks. Would love to see you. And I thought, oh, well, if I can make it, I'll make it. But, you know, I've already read it pretty carefully. You know, I don't need to hear him read it. And, you know, there was one that was near me and I thought I'd go to that one. But then something came up that night and I couldn't go. And so I didn't go to any. And then I reached out to him about something and he said, I'm not interested in being friends with you anymore. Because when I asked you to come to my reading, you didn't. And I always go to all of your things. And I'm like, Dad, what are you talking about? Like, I read your entire book. It took me a month. Like, that's so much more than going to a reading. Like, why? What are you talking about? And I was a little mad, so I said some mean things while I was at it. And that was it. Like, we were no longer friends. And I saw him on the subway once. And it was awkward. And I said, hi, Thad. And he said, oh, hi. And I was like, how's it going? He said, okay, how you doing? I said, good. It's good to see you. He said, you too. And then I got off. And I haven't seen him since. And it's so weird. We were such good friends. 